Today we're going to be creating some gargoyles out of clay. You can see a finished one right here. And you can see that I also included a lot of emotion in my gargoyle. So this one kind of looks uneasy and nervous with his eyebrows coming up and he's looking off to the side. So I want you to think about what kind of emotion you'd like to show in your gargoyle as well. So right here I have a second sketch of a gargoyle that I've shown and I'm going to show you guys today how we're going to make that. So we're going to start with a ball of clay and the very first thing I'm going to do is start my process for a pinch pot. So I'm going to stick my thumb in the middle of this clay and then I'm slowly going to start to pinch around the outside. If you notice, I am not pinching like this with my fingers because that will leave indents. I try to use flat fingers all around the edges. And I also wanna make sure that I'm rounding it out. This part shouldn't be flat, so I'm really trying to curve my fingers around the sides as I'm going. Another thing that I'm paying attention to is that it's pretty even all the way around. I don't want some parts to be very, very thin and other parts to be thick, so I'm trying to keep it pretty even. If I notice there's a spot that's a little bit thicker, then I'm going to go back and just make sure that I even that out. So I've got a pretty good shape here. And if I'd like to start to create it looking like this, I notice that the mouth here is actually much smaller than what I have here. So I'm going to try to make this smaller here by bringing it in just a bit like this. So it looks more like the mouth is sort of in that surprised, more closed form. Okay. And I'm just smoothing any parts out that I need to here. So the next step that I'm going to do is I notice that the shape of this gargoyle's head sort of comes up a little bit like this. And right now I'm, mine is pretty round. So I'm gonna give him some cheeks like this and make sure that the top comes up like this a little bit more, just like my picture, because I want him to match my picture a little bit. Now remember, you don't have to match your picture exactly. If you start working and you think, hmm, I think this thing might look better. I think it might look better if the horns go this way. Whatever it is, you can change it. The plan just helps us to have an idea as we go. All right, so I think this is pretty similar. And next I'm going to start adding some details here. I noticed that I have a nose here that's a little bit upturned. So I'm just going to take a small piece. I really don't need much create the same shape that I have there, it's sort of triangular, like this. And I want it to come out a little bit more. So it's looking like that a bit. And then I can't just put this on my clay and expect it to stay, because then it will fall off. So I'm going to remove this, and I'm gonna follow the same three S's um, that we always use when we are attaching pieces, and that's score slip and stick. So I'm scoring just means I'm scratching the surface lightly and then I'm going to scratch the surface lightly where I plan to attach it. You really don't want to skimp on that step you, because you want your gargoyle to stay together. Then I'm going to use slip, a mixture of clay and water, to stick them together. The slip sort of acts like a glue to keep it together. So we really want to make sure that we are following those three steps and then also that we smooth it out. When we're sticking it on, we don't wanna be able to see those creases. So I run my fingers along that until you can't even tell that it was a separate piece at one point. There we go. And then I can even go ahead and use the back side of my wooden dowel just to give them some nostrils here. All right. And then I can start with the eyes. I'm gonna make both of my eyes separately first because I want them to be even. I'm just gonna take small pieces. It's a little bit smaller than you would even think. So this one's a pretty small piece. I'll make it sort of an oval shape here. And then once I like the size, I'm gonna to try to match it with another one. If I have a tough time with that, then I could just flatten out a piece of clay, let's say like this. And then I could even just trace it to make sure that they are even. Like this. And again, then I just score, slip, and stick these into place. 
So I'm going to score my gargoyle, make these little scratch marks. I'm gonna do the same thing on the back of both of the eyes. And then I'm going to, again, slip them all. So I'm just dabbing on some clay water and then I'm going to stick them into place. So you already can see it's sort of coming together a bit. Okay. To make my eye, I found this pen around the room. You could also look around the room for some tools. And I'm just going to make two parts. I'm just pressing lightly right here. And then I could go back with my wooden dowel and add the little pupil on the inside, although that kind of looks like there already is one. I'll just make it a little bit bigger by adding this right in the middle of the circle I created. So, so far that's what we're looking at. Now I also need some eyebrows here, so I'm going to attach those as well. That's a great shape. And so is this. Now these though, are beginning to get a little bit cracked. If you see that yours, your clay is getting a little bit cracked, it's telling you that it needs a little bit of water. So you can actually just dip your finger in our slip or get a little bit of water and just uh, sort of rub the cracks to make sure that it is hydrating again. And then again, as always, we're scoring, slipping, sticking to attach. All right, then if I wanna create these ears that you see here, it's the last thing I'm going to show you before I speed it up a little bit. I'm going to just take a slab of clay. So I'm just going to flatten out some clay like this. And then I'm just going to cut out the shape that I have drawn right here using my wooden dowel. So I see that it's a little bit curved here. It's going to need to be a little bit curved on the one side in order to stick to the face. And then I'm just going to create the same lines that I see here. So first it comes up, then it comes out, and then down and around this way. So I've cut this piece out, that'll be one ear. But since I want them to be even, I'm going to trace it again so that they're both exactly the same size. Okay, so now I've got two even pieces that I can go ahead and attach. All right, when you feel like you're done, then you can go back and add some final details or fix it up a little bit. So anywhere where you see any scratches or that it's not smooth, you may wanna take a wet finger and smooth it out. Make sure that we're not seeing any of the seams on your clay. We shouldn't see where you attached pieces. Okay. And then you can also use your wooden dowel to add final details that way too. So if I wanted to just outline the ear a little bit like this, I could, if I wanted to put polka dots on my gargoyle, I could, perhaps I could add some decorations around, say the ear, I can show you what that would look like. I'd use the, um, the rounded end to go ahead and add some details. This is the point where you might think to yourself, hmm, how could I make this look even nicer than what I have and maybe add some other details. All right, 
and then we have to let it dry before we put it in the kiln.